Hi guys, what's up? It's your boy Crypto Marco yet again with another awesome video on the topic of cryptocurrencies. And today the video, all you need to invest in cryptocurrencies. Many people joining in into cryptocurrencies, their money is coming into the market and a lot of interesting things are happening. But many people who are new to the subject are kind of overwhelmed by everything and this is the video to explain everything for you but also if you're advanced you can watch this and maybe you're gonna learn something new i hope so if you do make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more also everybody commenting with their litecoin address have the chance of winning a small amount of litecoin every day so good luck attention all you need to invest in cryptocurrencies Keep in mind that cryptocurrencies are extremely vol volatile. So a lot of movement in the market, many ups and downs, and volatility is the word you use to describe the movement of a market. So if it's going up and down constantly, you're talking about a market that has a lot of volatility. This means that you, ha that you have to be really brave and that um, you can win a lot but you can also lose a lot. So keep that in mind when you're investing into cryptocurrencies. Also, never, never, never invest more money that you invest money you can afford to lose. So if you have some savings that are really important to you, or if you invest your rent money that's supposed to be for rent or money that's supposed to be for food, don't be stupid and invest in cryptocurrencies. There is money that you can invest, there is money that you can't invest, and things that you need for your everyday life that are really important are not supposed to be spent on cryptocurrencies. So that implies that you have a stable source of income and some money that you can spare. This can be as much as $100 or maybe even more or less it's just important to have someone that you can that you can spend like there are circumstances that are easier and harder but basically um if you are really willing to get into this market i'm sure that you're gonna find a way to dispose something maybe smoke less maybe drink less alcohol and then you're gonna have something more left so it pretty much depends on how hard how bad do you want it and the complexity of cryptocurrencies can be really intimidating people have mostly heard of bitcoin and then all of a sudden ripple dash litecoin all these other coins and they're like oh my god and everyone each coin has another function works differently has different uh, another address and it appears to be very complicated but once you have grasped the concept of blockchain and how every coin works i mean you, you don't even have to grasp blockchain and every coin to understand how everything works you're gonna it's gonna be so easy like seriously at the beginning i was also very intimidated by how complex everything is but over time you just get a much better feeling for everything so don't give up too fast also, of course, you need to be at least 18 years old to invest, so you have to be of legal age, but I think that's something that I don't have to discuss around. Also, you don't have, to, you, you should not rely on gurus and YouTube videos and blogs to tell you where to invest. You have to have your own strategy, when and how to invest. So have an own opinion and I think that I'm talking about something that's going to be in the next point, but uh, no, that's something that's going to be in the next slide. But keep in mind that all I say is subjective opinion and that I'm not a financial advisor. So now we're going to come to re requirements that are kind of on the psych psychological side because I see tutorials on how to get into cryptocurrencies like, oh, you need a Coinbase account and then you do this and that. And while that obviously is true at the end of the day psychology psychology wins like not the best chart analysis win wins but uh, the trader who has his shit together and knows what he's doing and doesn't let his emotions affect his trades is the one who's going to win at the end and this is something that 
I don't see people talk about in videos, but I, I want to talk about this topic in this video and you definitely need courage. So there are people who are waiting for the dip for the $5,000 dip on Bitcoin. But if you're waiting for that, you're going to wait for a long time. So for some people, um, you know, they are not afraid to jump into the cold water, but some are super scared and then they think and think and think. And I think the smarter people are, the more they think. And people who aren't that smart as you are, they're just, oh yeah, let me buy a thousand Bitcoins in 2009. And today they're millionaires. So um, sometimes your own intelligence is in your way. So you definitely have to just be like, you know what? I'm going to be brave and I'm going to invest some money. So that's something that's very important that you're not afraid to just get started because once you get started, everything is going to come a lot easier and people are out waiting for so long for some dips. And I think that's just, I can understand it, but if you're waiting for a dip, you might wait a few years and uh, that until then, like you can use those two years to get a lot of experience to already make a lot of money. So you definitely have to be courageous when it comes to cryptocurrencies. Perseverance. Um, it's going to happen that some of your investments are not going to go the way you want them to go. And it's pretty likely. And when that happens is it's really important to just persevere and just to hold until they go well, like keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor. This is subjective opinion, but most people who are in any more asset market, even stocks, um, lose money because they're not patient enough because they buy an asset and then it goes down and then they panic sell sell because they want to cut losses. But then sometimes later, a few months or weeks, maybe the asset goes up again. So you just have to persevere and um, be humble and have faith in your own decisions that your investments are going to go up one day. And I'm going to show you in the next slide a practical example of how I did exactly that. And every time you make a win, you profit, you make a loss, you have to view it as a learning a learning experience. So you definitely have to have the willingness to learn. It might be a blog, might be a YouTube channel, maybe a mentor or a coach, whatever. Just don't get discouraged by a loss. You should rather view it as a learning experience. And even I make mistakes sometimes. I make a living off of cryptocurrencies, but sometimes I make beginner mistakes that like because I'm, people are just stupid sometimes. You know, I admit that. And um, afterwards, I'm like, damn it. And of course, I'm a bit, you know, pissed at myself. But then I'm like, you know what? This was a good learning experience. The, the market slapped my ass and now I won't do this mistake next time. That's something I mentioned earlier. You have to have your own opinion. You have to be independent and make autonomous decisions. Don't wait for YouTube gurus to answer your question. Should I invest in this? Should I invest in that? You should have your own sets of rules when and how much to invest into certain assets and not to wait for other people to tell you now it's a good time to invest. I mean, you're a grown man or woman. I don't know. Um, but you if you are in the legal age, you definitely have to make your own decisions when it comes to cryptocurrencies. And I'm going to give you a practical example really soon. But definitely beware, beware of FOMO and hype. So there are some coins that are a lot that have a lot more value than they should do. I won't name any. But basically what happens is when announcement is being made, price goes up, everybody who bought before the hype or the FOMO is happy. And everybody who buys at the peak is going to see that afterwards the, the value is going to get corrected and they're going to be mad. So definitely learn that as a view that as a learning experience, but don't buy into hype or FOMO because that's a sure way to make losses. And your behavior should not be based on emotions, but rather on algorithms. And this sound, this can sound maybe a little bit weird because algorithms are something that's, you know, it's math. Why, why are you talking about algorithms, Marco? I'm going to explain to you in the next slide. So the definition of algorithm, in my opinion, is it's a normative, mostly mathematically structured instruction to come to the same decision and results in equivalent situations. 
So if a coin is all of a sudden soaring up, really expensive, not a good time to buy, in my opinion. If a coin is cheap, undervalued, has a lot of potential, that's when you have to buy them. I have a uh, Bittrex account. I invested like some $400 maybe into it a month ago because I just wanted to test Bittrex. So this is not my main trading account, but you can see that um, I I think when I invested it in, in it initially, it was $450, then it went down to 350 and now it's over $1,000. So um, by this, I just wanted to show you like, this is what perseverance looks like. Like I could have sold, sold all my assets uh, and have like $350, but I persevered. I was like, okay, I made this decision. I'm gonna stick through it. And now the account is worth over 1K. Um, and you can see that, um, for example, this is a screenshot of today's, uh, uh, of, days, of today's coin market cap. So today's the 18th of December. And you can see that Power Ledger is today's winner. And as you can see, I have some Power Ledger in my portfolio. And uh, I did not buy Power Ledger when it was hyped, when it was like right now, when it's when everybody's FOMOing. I bought it before when it was cheap, when it had a lot, when I mean, it still has a lot of potential. And just that's the right time to buy. So it kind of sums up everything that I said in the slides earlier. You have to have your own opinion. You have to be in, make autonomous decision. You have to stick through even when your investment doesn't go up. But then eventually, if you made the right decision, it will go up. And I made a video on how to buy IOTA step by step. If you want to check it out, go ahead. Basically, once you have your Coinbase account or whatever you want to use, you just go click on the plus. Then you're gonna get a um, Bitcoin address. Then you send your Bitcoin to that address, and then you can buy whatever token you want to buy. That's pretty much the in, how it goes in a nutshell. So some formal requirements after we have covered the psychological asset. One more time, you have to be a, of legal age. This might be different in every country out there, but I think most um, most exchanges. Uh, want to see proof that you're 18 years old you need to have your own bank account while i uh like it that so many people trust me i won't buy bitcoin for you guys i'm very sorry also you have you need documentary so driver's license passport etc so you can go through the verification process on the platforms um then you have to have a bitcoin exchange account so as i said kraken gdex bitcoin um, dot com or Coinbase or whatever. Um, most people start off on bit off uh, on Coinbase, and then you can buy Bitcoin. And optional, of course, an altcoin exchange platform. So, if you are interested in buying altcoins, if you don't want to invest exclusively in Bitcoin, this might be something for you. But on my other videos, I'm covering altcoins a lot more in depth. So go ahead and check them out. And now all you have to do is time to get started start yesterday start now people are waiting for so many dips to invest their money but seriously <sighs> the right moment won't come you just have to jump into the cold water and i mean while it does make sense sometimes to wait for the dip i don't wait for any dip when i'm when i have to buy bitcoin i just buy it because i need them and because it doesn't matter really if you're smart you're gonna make money in every market so get started and make your own experiences investing in cryptocurrencies. The account you saw you saw earlier, come on, I started it with $400. Like even a total beginner can do that. And the decision I made right right back there could have been done by a by somebody who just started yesterday with uh, cryptocurrencies, pretty much. Um, if you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. That would be great. Uh, comment and leave your Litecoin address so you can participate in the raffle I do. Subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video and click on the notification bell to get notified every time I upload something. And uh, thank you very much for looking at my video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave it a thumbs up or comment down below. Um, I wish you a lot of success with all your trades, a lot of health for you and your family. And um, keep in mind that I'm not a financial advisor, that it's a subjective opinion. 
Um, so I, I had this Apple here and I wanted to make like an analogy that uh, you want to cryptocurrencies are kind of like apples. You want to buy them when they're on discount, when they're cheap. So um, you can buy more for less money. But now I forgot it and just saw it and just wanted to add that at the end, maybe be a bit awkward right now. And I should um, leave you with this message at this video. And one more time, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a lot of success with all your trades. Good luck and see you next time. Bye bye.